Hey everybody, it's iHeart Movies here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In our last episode, which was about two and a half weeks ago or so, we did stuff I don't remember, but now we're back to Alexandria Castle with Marcus and Steiner, they just broke out of their aerial Gerald cell, and now we're going to kill our own brethren. And by brethren, I mean our fellow soldiers. And when I did off camera real quick, I made a little upgrade to Steiner, I gave him the uh, blood sword as opposed to the iron sword, because um... I needed an upgrade. Steiner's still weak as hell with the um, iron sword there, so needed a little extra punch to my attack. So therefore, he has a blood sword. But he still hasn't mastered um, uh, what is it, um, dark side from the iron sword yet, but he will eventually. So I'm not too worried about that. I can do some off-camera grinding for that anyway. And Steiner, why you no celebrate? Oh well, ooh, on dead killer, awesome. First battle of the episode did a did a new ability, awesome. I approve. Now let's see, can I upgrade anything? Actually, no, he's, oh, Dark Side's from the Blood Sword. Uh, Iron Sword has Minus Strike. Okay, I got confuzzled. <clears throat> it happens. Yeah, we can upgrade to the Mythol Gloves there. And we're good. We press onward! To kill more of these bitches! Yeah, these guys, I'm, I'm actually, I'm fairly certain they're pretty much the same that we fought back, you know, when they invaded, uh, Clara. Um, I do believe he also has some spells they can use, but they're nothing really to worry about. I kind of wish. Okay, they do have spells, as I thought. Yeah, I kind of wish I could give uh, Marcus a blood sword also to heal his HP because I'm getting kind of wailed on right now. Yeah, so I am probably a little under leveled actually at this point in the game. Oh, the levels in this game, I mean, they're rather important, but they're not anything extraordinary. I mean. As long as you fight every battle along the way, you'll be decently enough level for the end of the game anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, I also, I could, I could stand to also uh, do some grinding here also. I might do a little bit of that, eventually. We'll see how that goes. But oh well, yeah, these guys go down easily enough with the Blood Sword there. Marcus does as well, but not to the Blood Sword, to their normal equipment. Which kinda sucks. Yeah. Maybe we should actually put Marcus in the back row. Or upgrade, upgrade his equipment. Or maybe both. I think both, actually, that can help. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, heal him up first. There we go. No, no high potion. There we go. Now, let's see here. Yeah, he still has some uh, rather crappy stuff, actually. He needs some more defense is what he really needs. Um, let's give him a my throw best there. Lower strength, but more defense, which we absolutely need here. And it will make our way up this giant ladder here. Although, actually, what I want to do... Um... Slight spoilers, probably. Um, take out Marcus' equipment. Um, and just give him a, a crappy weapon. You'll see why in a little bit. Probably shouldn't spoil stuff like that, but... Eh. I'm not too concerned. Now, the ones you saw that soldier down there, they do respawn, actually, after a little while. So, if you want just to run around and grind right there, by all means, do so. And, um, well, I, I thought about it. Now, I'll, I'll time later on. Ooh, that's an awesome effect there. That'd be a really cool staircase to have. Going to save my bro, bro. He's, in the, he's still in the forest, bro. He's stoned, bro. What? I didn't hear anything. Oh, my God, convenience. Oh, hi. Um, no, this is... No, this is Patrick. Is this Alexandria? No, this is Patrick. Is this Alexandria? No, this is Patrick. I'm not in Alexandria. Um, uh, Patrick, Alexandria is the uh, name of this restaurant. Don't. <laughs> Stein's like, um, lol, what? I shake my hands, but no one responds. Oh. Enough with your try exclamation point, Steiner. He didn't hear you. Yeah, we heard her talking through all the robber, robber, robber. I'm fat, robber, robber, robber earlier. And yes, it is. That got clock. And also more whatever the song's called. I honestly don't remember what it's called. He's like, whoa, whoa ow. <laughs> ah, Marcus, blah. I'm closing the gate, bro, to stop them bitches, bro. Like, oh no, let's just 
flap our arms and stand here. Okay, yeah, you do that. Have fun with your broadsword and no equipment there, guy. And your bandana. And your, like, pig face. Okay, so yeah, now we're on a time limit, so we kind of need to rush through things here a little bit, so let's go! Yeah, we have a half an hour to do this, which it's still a decent amount of time. But yeah, you can and will fight battles along the way, so you'll kind of want to haul ass. But at least now we have a full party! This party's actually really damn good, this combo of Zidane, Steiner, Vivi, and Freya. Although my is I prefer to, um, have Freya out. And probably put in, I'd say, like, either, um, Dagger, as in spoilers, it won't get her from that. <laughs> either yeah, her or another mage-type character, like Keener or whatever. See, I prefer the other two and two combo. Two physical fighters, two magic, uh, two magic users, so... Although Frey is a nice balance with both, I mean, she has Rage's Wind for healing, so that's not bad, but yeah, I just prefer more of a balance in my case. <coughs> yeah, that's just me. Ooh, she Master Rage's Wind, awesome. Yeah, Steiner's still really behind in level, so actually, what I want to do real quick, as, as I should have done earlier, and I do recommend doing also, make sure Steiner has level up equipped. It absolutely makes sure of that, because yeah, that gives you a 50% increase in experience, and because he's so far behind, he needs the boost big time, so... There you go. Okay, yeah, we can't go this way. I think those are the Knights of Pluto, actually. So, yeah, we'll just stealthily avoid you as you run around in a circle. Why, I don't really know. But now we must infiltrate the castle! Now, I don't know where we're going, actually. Oh, we, we need to find their inner sanctum. So, actually, let's go ahead and I'll fight a couple of these bitches on the way. I feel like it. And plus, I mean, the this theme plays throughout all the time here anyway, so that's always a good thing. I should make up lyrics for the song, but I don't feel like it right now. I'm still kind of half asleep, actually. I slept well enough last night, but the thing is, though, um, I use these, um, these Breathe Right nasal strips, so, um, you put them on your nose at night, and then, um, they open up your nasal passages so you can, like, breathe easier at night and sleep better. And I didn't use those before, and now I started to use them a couple months ago. And the difference between them is night and day, from how well they work to like, when I use them as opposed to when I don't use them. Like, I sleep so much better when I use them than when I don't. But, um, I actually didn't use one last night. I totally forgot to put one on. And, um, it definitely, there's a difference there. I just did not have a good, thorough sleep throughout the night. And I'll use one tonight, and I know I'll sleep a hell of a lot better. So. Yeah, I should probably change Frey's equipment setup, because you mastered Race's win there. Oh, well, I'm not too worried about that. And, let's see. These guys are probably, they might be weak to an element if you wanted to... He was an element of some sort. My nose is running. Hold on. Ah, sorry. You didn't hear rustling and nonsense and whatnot. Yeah, sorry. Ah, there, there you go. Much better. Okay, ooh, another Mythical Sword card. Not that I really, like, care or anything. You know, we want to go up... Not this way? Um, up here, isn't it? Yeah, there should be a door back there. There we go. Took long enough to get back there, but oh well. Well, you found the throne room. Where could she be? Ah, I run around and panic. There's nothing here. Oh, actually, wait. Before I do anything else, um, I'm done with Raze's Wind, so um, what else can I even go on to? Magician Shoes? That could be interesting, but nah, I'll pass. Um, chain Plate. Um, yeah, we'll go back to the Mytho Vest to work on Auto Potion there. Uh, stay with the Bandana for his Dawn because it has a... Uh, has good stats for him and all that. Uh, let's see, yeah, Bloodsword, yada yada yada. And for Vivi, okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, now, what can we do? Uh, oh? Huh, let's try to move it. Haha, -ha, it's a secret passage! Yeah, that purple candle there kind of stands out in this room just a little bit. Yeah, never actually seen, like, a purple candle. Well, actually, no, that's that's a lie I have. Anyway, in this room, we want to wait until this pendulum thing spins back and forth here, because there's two chests over there we want to get. If it'll actually, like, work. And yeah, let's try and do that. And then when it comes back, we'll hop on again, which brings us up over here. We can get these treasure chests. Which contain... Ooh, the ice brand. Yeah, I knew we did one eventually. I just forgot that it was here. In a tent. Nice. 
And see, what I want to do, I'll do the Ice Brand to Steiner right now. Because, yeah, again, he's lacking in attack power, so he needs the boost there. And also, new ability from the Ice Brand, Mental Break, that, that pretty much lowers your, um, magical, your magic attack stats. I'll show that off real quick. Oh, magic defense. Okay. I was close. It's pretty much Arn's Mental Break ability in Final Fantasy X. Although, this actually came before that, of course, because 9 comes before 10. Because I, I are extremely smart. I know them, I know to maths. I know to elite math zores. Anyway, big spiral staircase going down, going down. Reminds me of the spiral tower in Wild Arms 2. That dungeon has one of the best final dungeon themes I've like ever heard. But yeah, we'll get to that. I'd like to say soon enough, but unfortunately it won't be for like a few more months yet. This LP still has a long way to go. And yeah, my uh, less than constant uploading that I used to have before, it'll take longer. So, uh, yeah. Now, if you go down this way, I'll show this off real quick while we still have time. Um, this, I do believe, will lead us right back to this dungeon here where we were before with, um, Dagger, Marcus, and Steiner there, where they got kidnapped, so... We'll be back there later on, and... What's with the eye here? It's kind of freaky. I just stepped on it, so now you have, like, pink eye. Or red eye, because, you know, it's probably bleeding. Blah! Oh, yeah, I forgot these two were down here. Hey, they were just walking towards us all day they were running. I thought they were walking. Why must you jump when you speak? I, I, I do not get that at all. Nah, I don't know. Anyway, boss is... Because, you know, there's two of them. Yeah, there's, there's, there's Zorn and there's Thorn. That makes two. Yeah, these guys are actually pretty damn easy, although there is a little unique thing to this battle there, which you'll see. I'm sure they'll use it eventually. Um, they'll give an uh, ability, the, uh, the ability to use an ability to one or the other there. Like, Zorn will give Thorn the ability to use, like, Meteor or Flare or whatever, so you want to attack whichever one gets the ability. So you see there, he gave Zorn Meteor power, so you want to attack the one that gets the power, that means you can neutralize it, so there you go. And besides that, yeah, Freya had to go with races win first, um, then Zidane will just go with Stealing. And then that's pretty much it, actually. I think the battle ends when you kill either one of them. I'm, I forget that you have to kill both of them to do it. Um, let's see. Uh, let's just go ahead and just try to balance our attacks on each of them. And Vivi will go with Focus for right now. We'll let him build up a couple of times. And then Zidane just goes uh, stealing on each of them. And I like how they just like, they fall over when they get attacked and they just bounce right back up. I fall and I can't get up, even though I just did. Ooh, a Partisan. I already had that, don't I? I think Freya actually, like, kind of has it equipped. <laughs> well, I can sell it. Oh, crap. Yeah, if you don't attack the one that has the, uh, the power, they'll do this, which will probably hurt its head. Ow! Yeah, I need some, like, healing crap, like, now. Yeah, Rage's Wind doesn't quite cut it exactly, so... Thwack! I missed. That's really rare to miss in this game. It really is. Burn the clowns! I'm not really a big fan of clowns, although I actually haven't really seen all that many clowns in person throughout my life. I, I really haven't. It's, I know it sounds really like weird and all that, but I just I haven't. And the battle's over already. Yeah, if you kill one of them, you essentially kill them both. And they're still... Guys, they're still there. Why not kill them? Like, finish the job. Like, you know, kill them? Oh, so, like, bitch, please, we don't care. No, we are too late. No, our sleeping bitch. BRB sleeping. I'm on Do Not Disturb on Stripes and on. Leave me alone. <laughs> and now I am the dead. Blech. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but wait, we can't have five party members. This isn't Final Fantasy IV. Ooh, an ATE. Friendship. And that is why friendship is the best thing ever. Yes, friendship is wonderful. It is the best thing ever. Hold on, bro. I'm coming, bro, bro. 
And yes, whenever he says bro, I have to do my uh, bro thing. I have to bro provise or speak broies or I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, hi, Mr. Moodle. Why are you here? It's it's dangerous. Ooh, a letter from Kupo. The most generic Moodle name ever. These bitches are everywhere. And also, danger music here. I love it. Go ahead and tent up first, because even though we're in imminent danger, in peril and all that, we can just pitch a tent and sleep for the, for an entire night and have no one care at all come after us or anything. Because that makes perfect sense in an RPG. I mean, what doesn't? Like, seriously. Oh, well, what can you do? Yeah, definitely go ahead and save up first. And yeah, I think I'm due for, like, a big, like, grinding session at some point. At least I think so, anyway. I'm For level-wise... I mean, you guys have probably seen, I tend to over-level in RPGs a lot, because I love to level grind and all that. I really do. So that's just me. So I'll probably will stop and grind a little while once I get a chance to. Now, can we do anything down here? Nah, I didn't think so. We'll have to make our way all the way back up to the top there. But I, don't, I, don't, I do believe there's no random battles on the way back up either, so there's nothing to worry about there. And I, I like how Sedan can still run full speed with even with carrying, carrying Garnett. This is kind of cool. And back at the spiral staircase. I'm wondering how long it took to actually build this, whole, this entire structure down here. Because this whole thing is below the castle, which is huge enough as is. And then you come down here, it's like a whole other castle, essentially, down here. It's, it's one giant labyrinth. And then also building this pendulum thing up here, this moving platform. I wonder how the hell that works. Yeah, for this game being kind of like the steampunk age of sorts, and you know, with like there's some modern technology, but also it's like a medieval time. It's really, really advanced, or like it's for the civilization as a whole, especially here in Alexandria. Hey, we made it! Hey, Vivi didn't trip. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I would hope not. I mean, no one was down there besides the Moodle. Although he does have a knife, so if he followed us, um, yeah. Yeah, now at this point, Steiner is finally starting to get it. Took him two discs to finally do it. So, there's that. Okay, well, that's one way to put it. Freya's like, bitch, no! Well, I'm assuming that's what she meant, because she did, she did that, like, arm movement thing. If only we had gotten here sooner. If only. Uh, this is the first time Steiner and Zidane have seen each other in quite a while. Yeah, they've really been through a lot, and this is actually, this has been really maturing for Zidane. Okay, wait, 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 hold the phone. How the hell did you get up here, when the only apparent way to get back up here was through the fireplace? Also, how would we not have seen you, because we got out of there first, and you weren't following us? That made no sense. Unless they went through the prison way, the op the opposite way that we went earlier, like where they got kidnapped, and then they somehow got back up here. But now there's no escape. No escape from what? Pray tell. Cliffhanger. Boom. Right here. I had to do it. This has been I don't movie sign off, guys. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.